Wow, man. How y'all doing? I'm Dave. Welcome to ACTV, the hallways thereof. We got a few people hanging out here waiting to do the Raw Time giveaway kind of thing. You are watching Raw Time. We're coming to you live from the facilities of ACTV in East Austin. So uh, if you'd like to come on down and join us, we have some giveaways tonight. Call the little info line at the bottom of the screen, 473 3848, and you'll find out how to get here. We will be here till 4 in the morning. Tonight is our very special Raw Time South by Southwest preview. We're going to tell you about a bunch of uh, showcases we got coming up, uh, featuring like the first act we played, Overwhelming Color Fest. If you like those guys, they got that showcase we had the billboard up for. You can check the Chronicle for all the listings and find out where everyone's at. Uh, but we're going to start the show off tonight uh, with an interview with one of uh, Austin's most wonderful people, and she's so nice to come down here whenever we ask her to. And uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about the Austin Chronicle Music Awards this year, which are going on tomorrow night, by the way. And uh, it is the, the fine and wonderful Margaret Mosier. How are you doing this evening, Margaret? Oh, I'm doing terrific. Doing terrific, huh? Good nice deal. Intro. <laughs> nice intro. Nice intro. Nice intro. Did you like that raw youth video on raw time protesting raw meat? I did. Yeah? I did. I also like the. Uh, sort of uh, cameos there by uh, French Snyder. Katie Lang. Yeah, yeah. kind of a little bit like, well, we don't really have time for your video, but here, you can listen to this clip real quick. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's too good. Well, thanks for coming to join us. Thanks. You know, Staying up late. I know you got you a lot of stuff to do. This is the stripped down Moser model here. 24 <laughs> hours before the award show. No makeup. All right. I haven't fixed my hair. Well, you know. changed my clothes since 6.15 this morning when I went to do Camel 36. Sorry, can we mention the competition? Oh, but yeah. thanks for having me on anyway. No so problem. Cool. Well, this is raw time, so it's a kind of raw mo yeah. motif here. Well, know, I'm so. feeling pretty raw. So. Beautiful, beautiful. So um, for all the people that don't know, there's like the Austin Chronicle Music Awards tomorrow night. 755 sharp? Is 755 that sharp. At the Palmer Auditorium. That's right. And uh, there's like so many people playing on this thing. Uh, Mich Michelle Solberg, Alejandro. Alejandro. Who are I, the folks? Uh, let, me, let me try to get this straight because I, I don't know if I've actually gotten the correct lineup because there's so many people on this year. Michelle Solberg, David Rodriguez, Alejandro Escovito, Grego's Orchestra, and that'll have Danny Barnes and Mark, Mark Rubin, Rubin from Bad Livers and Steve James with them. Uh, and then there's going to be Joe Carroll Pierce who's going to play with Lou Diamond and Michael Hall. All right. Uh, Rocky Erickson will be there with his band. Performing. Performing. Actually performing. And actually this is such a cool band. I really like it. Speedy Sparks from Texas Tornadoes on mm -hmm. bass. John Reed on guitar who also has to play with Alvin Crow that night. Otherwise Will known Sexton's as the band leader. John, Johnny X. Johnny right? X. Reed. That's correct. To differentiate him from the other John Reed's account. Exactly. Uh, and uh, Mike Buck on drums. Oh. So that's yeah. Rocky's all-star band. Then we've got Soul Hat. All right. Who were such cute guys? They called me up in November and they said, "We really want to play the award <laughs> show." I was like, oh, "Wow, you know." Hey, you got butts behind you, though. By the way, I just oh. noticed you got butts behind you, Mark. I do. Hate to interrupt you or I'm anything, really happy. but uh, <laughs> that's kind of a nice position you've gotten yourself into there. It certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> usually it's the other way around. My butt, their lips. But, you know. Yeah, well. You got to do a little of both. Well, especially this time of year when it's like, hi, remember me? I met you six months ago. Can I get on the guest list? <laughs> oh, you never hear that, do you? Oh, no. <laughs> so tell me about this uh, P thing. Oh, yeah. Well, then we've got Soul Hat and uh, Lucinda Williams and her band. Oh, exactly. Lucinda's They're not on here. the uh, poster because they didn't come on until after we already sent the poster out. Last but minute is, stuff? It is. This, this is the way the award show is. Exactly. And, uh, and then, of course, the fabled P. Hey, hey, hey. For people who don't know, that's like Gibby Haynes and Friends. Uh-huh, and friends. Bill Carter. It's really, um, talk about your odd couple. Yeah. Bill Carter is and Gibby Haynes together, and then there, there are these celebs who I am bound not to mention, but have been mentioned previously. In other... In other publications, in, shall Yeah, say. exactly. Um, and, uh, but also, I was I did a show the other day with Kelly Willis, and she told me that she's going to be singing up back, back up in pizza. This Boy. is really going to be a wild card show. I'm kind of you know? interested in what kind of music they'll be doing, you know? Boy, I'm real interested I in finding mean, out, because, because one of the guys in the band described it as music for underdogs, and I thought that was very interesting and <laughs> uh, very curious. Mm -hmm. so. I guess Gibby's going to be pretty busy here recently with the new Butthole Surfers project anyway, yeah. huh? Uh-huh. That's pretty good. I got a, a little advance of that stuff. It's nice Butthole Surfers stuff. They haven't compromised anything for capital, that's for sure. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Right. But now, uh, Butthole Compromise, I think not. Not at all. So that, that uh, Chronicle Award tomorrow night is going to be going into the wee hours, you think? You know, because we're starting an hour earlier, and this is partly due to the response that we've gotten year after year, saying, what do you want more in Austin? Earlier shows. Well, people, we're giving it to you earlier. Please come out. 7.55 sharp. sharp. <laughs>
It starts with the uh, wonderful introduction by MC for Life, Paul Ray. MC for Life, Paul Ray, bless him. Yeah, yeah. he's really come through like a champ yeah, over it, the years. And uh, But we're also going to have a lot of guest presenters this year, too. Cool. Uh, besides uh, Rocky and Joe Carroll and Lucinda, uh, we're also going to have Kathy Valentine from uh, formerly the Go-Go's. All right. Who just called me up today and said she'd like to come. And I said, well, I'd like to have you. Uh, Eric Johnson is going to be one of my guest presenters. Yeah. Um, Ray Benson, the fabulous Thunderbirds. Sammy Allred, or the mm -hmm. Giza Slaws. The, the Giza yeah, Slaws, yeah, exactly. Both of the Slaws. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be doing that too. And it, But, you know, I just can't emphasize enough how much music is going to be available that night. That's so. true. There's going to be uh, a lot of sets. I guess you're going for more uh, sets this time around as opposed to uh, lengthy sets by a few bands. Yeah, this is true. And it's one of the ways that we sort of conceptually changed the award show. Uh, starting with last year when we had our 10th anniversary party with it. And uh, we had so many acts on there. And we found that actually we could have a whole lot of people on the bill and still get everything done. So whereas we don't have as many people as we had last year, we still are alternating shorter awards and music sets so we can get a wider variety of music on there and still... Uh, Just think about those dressing rooms. Oh, the dressing rooms. That's really where it's at. I'll you know? bet. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, people sharing dressing rooms. I, I know that the combinations in the previous Austin Chronicle Awards, such as last year with uh, Gibby and Rocky doing the presentation to Pariah, I can just imagine the combinations that will come up for dressing room mates. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's actually I leave up to the uh, stage director, who, right. who uh, Shirley Staples. Which, by the way, when, I think one of the really interesting things about the award show that nobody ever seems to know is that it is almost exclusively female run. Right. Our security is a woman. Our stage director is a woman. I'm the director of the show. So that that box office, everything. that should influence all the males out there in Austin to come be a part of come help on, helping the crew for the Chronicle. See all huh? the babes on oh, the award God. show staff. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> Well, uh, another thing with the award presentations, I know that um, you, is the, to the odd pairing thing, you like to have certain people give away awards that are like totally removed from what they do or yeah. anything. Well, I always thought that was nice. I think that's a nice, a nice touch. One of the reasons I really like to do it is because, uh, well, when you have a group like P where you have the odd co combination of Gibby Haynes and Bill Carter, it's because there's something there that's connecting and, right. and there's something that's connecting us all as part of the same. So when I like to put disparate elements on stage, I think they come off well. Yeah, yeah, well, that's a good idea. It's yeah, quite interesting. It is. Um, and then, I, of course, it's South by Southwest. Right, yeah. South by Southwest. Yeah. That's the whole kickoff for the whole thing, right? It is, yeah. Hopefully we'll have Roy down here a little later. He's going to tell us about a lot of the showcases. Uh, I've got videos from a lot of the bands that are playing uh -huh. over the next few days, um, awesome bands and touring bands as well. So well, let me just say real quickly, Roy, sampling. I'm sorry you're not here on screen with me because I hate to do these things without you, but maybe next year. Yeah, right. Well, it's tape delayed. Yeah, I know, I know, and, and Roy, but Roy's are a lot of fun to be with, and, and since, you know, since South by Southwest and the award show are, are independent productions, but they're connected together, it's, it's been that's, a lot of fun doing the That's been the kind of interesting uh, relationship that they, I guess an incestuous relationship the two events have Pretty had. Pretty incestuous, They're not, yeah. technically not actually involved, yeah. but they go hand in hand. Well, this year we've had more crossover in terms of volunteer personnel, too, yeah. because because two of the main people that I depend on, Darcy Fromholtz and Aaron MacArthur, are major players in the South by Southwest yep, staff. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so it's been it's it's really good to have that kind of support system. You know, I mean, I've used the term several times, but it I can't stress how how good it is and how important it is to us. It's a nice crossover you know, for everybody yeah. to get a little their hands in a little bolt. Yeah, I think so. I think what I'm going to do, now that we have a, a little time on our hands, uh, we do we will be here at 4 in the morning. Margaret's come to join us for the first part of the show. She'll be leaving us very soon, but uh, y'all can go. She's got to get the shut eye for tomorrow night. So when y'all come out to the awards show tomorrow night, you can uh, go look her up and pat her on the back. And go pat Shirley on the back, too, and buy her something cold to drink because she's working all together too hard. And don't comment on the dark circles. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take a couple calls, and then we're going to get back here to this big table full of giveaways that all these people are hanging out ready to do. I know. That's give so away cool. some of these CDs. You've got great stuff back here. Yeah, check out some of that stuff. Anybody you recognize and take something home, huh? Uh -huh. Big Head's hot. I like them. They're, they're good. The first big time I ever saw them was at South by Southwest. And exactly. that's one of the really cool things about South by Southwest. So many of my favorite bands these days are ones that I either discovered like by accident, like Dash Rip Rock, or, right. or because of having seen Dash Rip Rock, then when Fred split off from men and formed Cowboy, Cowboy Mouth. Mouth. Yeah, and, 
and I'm so solid on them. My girlfriend can't. I've heard you say many times your favorite band, Cowboy Mountain. Favorite Mouth. band, Cowboy Mountain. <laughs> and this is nothing against the Austin bands either, because they all know I love them and my loyalty is to the Austin bands. But this is like, you know, these guys just like <laughs> me. Yeah, right. Before I forget, uh, what about these panels that uh, we were you were telling us about? You were trying to get certain people and and uh, certain casts of things involved. Well, okay. You know? Well, actually, I know what you're referring to. You're referring to the groupie panel. Exactly. And I am doing the groupie panel on Saturday afternoon. And Pamela DeBar, Miss Groupie Supreme, mm -hmm. and I I bow to the to the pantheon of the queen. <laughs> Pamela is the queen. She you is, know. yeah. Definitely. Besides that, I've been kind of off the circuit for about 10 years. You know? <laughs> That's why I can tell everything. Now. There you go, tell I, I all. I have a story on the Chronicle coming out next all week right. about that. Yeah, I've um, got to look for that. But Pamela is going to be on the, the panel, and Kim Fowley is going to be on the panel. Rock and roll legend Kim Fowley. Everybody loves Kim in Austin. <laughs> Kim is really a cool guy. Oh, you yeah. Know? <laughs> and he's everything he says he is. Wrote Kiss really Tunes. Really unusual. <laughs> Wrote um, Kiss Tunes. He's got to be cool. And Powers from the New York Times, who is doing, as I understand it, is doing a book on groupies. And oh, she is the one who actually wrote a piece on Pamela's newest book, Take Another Piece of My Heart. Mm -hmm. And she wrote sort of an academic uh, piece about the book and about Pamela and about groupies. And it was what made me look at this and go, gee, you know, maybe groupies are really hot this year because <laughs> people are taking this sort of sociological context uh, while talking about them. And I went to Lewis and I said, maybe we should consider doing like this year, and next thing I know, there it is. They're going to call Pamela. Mm -hmm. so. And Kim Fowley too. So uh -huh. what a combination! What a combo. Well, like I said, we're going to go ahead and do two phone calls here, uh, just to suffice the masses. I see the lines lit up. We're going to clear up a couple lines and go back here and do some giveaways. So uh, if y'all want to come down, call 473-3848, and you'll find out how to get here. Hey, you're on Raw Time. What's going on? What's up, Dave? Oh, man, hanging out. Is this the one and only Key Man? Yeah, it is. Hey, man. what's going on, man? Oh, not much. I was talking a long time. Dave. No doubt. What have you been up to, man? Ah, uh, nothing much, man. Yeah? Yeah. All right, man. Dude. Hey, Doc, do you know if you have any UGK? Any what? UGK. UGK? Yeah. Yeah, Underground Kings. Um, don't think I have it here tonight. We had it last week. Um, go ahead and leave your message, and I'll, I'll bring it next Tuesday. Okay. Duh. Texas rap. Yeah, man. Did you bring the Getter Boy? Uh, yeah, we have Crooked Officer tonight. Okay. Do you know if Gangsta Nip has any videos? If who? Gangsta Nip. Um, not that I've seen. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. Well, did you bring Onyx tonight, too? Ooh, I don't think we have Onyx back there, no. Okay. Uh, when are you going to be playing that Ghetto Boy, you know? Um, let's see, probably closer to two-ish. Okay. All right. All right, dog. See ya. See you later. See ya. All right. Long time viewer. Regular. Regular. Howdy, you're on Raw Time. What's up, dog? Oh, man, hanging out, fixing to give some stuff away. Uh, you got any ice cubes? Any ice tea? Ice cube. Ice cube? Yeah. I have the cube. Oh, you do? Um, We're going to play It Was a Good Day. Good. Uh, what about, um, no? Yeah, we actually have a new mix of the uh, Informer video, believe it or not. Uh, what about um, Paperboy, the guy next Yeah, week? I got that. Oh, all right, then. You, you, luck, hit, you hit a home run, man. Later, dog. <laughs> See you, man. All right, well, let's, uh, let's mosey on back there to that wonderful giveaway thing. Everyone's ready to do that, so I guess we'll do that. Um, Y'all can come on down if you'd like. 473-384, we'll tell you how to get here, so uh, join us. Oh, all sorts of people. We have Diggable Planet CDs down here tonight uh, for all you who are interested. They are coming to town. Have you checked, Have you heard about Diggable Planets yet, Margaret? No, I saw them in the paper and was wondering how to spell their name because I have to proofread all this stuff. Oh, they're, they're very good. Very good kind of uh, arrested development kind of vibe. They're supposed to be on Lollapalooza 93, actually. Uh, we also have the latest CD from The The. We have uh, Collision, Flotsam and Jetsam, Austin's own Voodoo Dolly. Flashback 4. This is interesting. This is an interesting compilation we have. We uh -huh. have a, a CD and video comp compilation containing stuff from Talking Heads, Sex Pistols, Erasure, and The Smiths. So y'all can come down and get some of those. As you can see, we're mighty crowded tonight. So we're going to head and jump into this head first with the giveaways. So uh, if y'all got them, stick them in there quick. All right, man. Here we go. Got a whole cup full right now, as y'all can see. You can come down here and put your name in there. Be glad to put, draw it out. We got some cool t-shirts, as I always say. Uh, one of the coolest things about Raw Time is checking out the multitude of t-shirts. So uh, y'all can come see that. Anyway, our first name of the evening is Elias H. All right, how you doing, man? Good to see you, man. Coming for a diggable planet, are you? CD, you got it, man. All right. Cool, man. Enjoy that. They're coming to town. Liberty lunch, man. <laughs> they think. All right, man. Let's see. 
Rachel M. Hi, how you doing? Another diggable planet's out of here, ladies and gentlemen. These things are going to go quick. It says, play it, say it. That's for them radio stations, people. You know when you listen to radio stations and they play like, those blocks of rock. And, and, and then like, you know, after it, you go, well, who was it? And they don't tell you who anybody was and you never know. So don't you just hate that? Don't you hate that? Anyway, we're going to go in here and uh, dig some more names. We have Mr. No Neck helping us this evening. The man has no neck. So uh, y'all can go check him out at the North Cross every weekend doing the Rocky Horror thing. Let's see. Uh, Renee V. I swear, this, this must be a contention in the house uh, for the diggable planet because uh, he's taking a cassette home. We got a cassette. Is that our, no, we have them right here. The ones with the peas on them there. Diggable Planets cassettes in the house. If you'd like to come get it, it's the, the uh, reaching a new reputation of time and space. So come on down and pick it up. Call Kanak and tell them to play that thing. I wonder if they're hip enough, hip enough to play that stuff. Um, call Kanak, 218-0077. Is this two? I guess I'll take the one I had in my fingers. Let's see. I... I promise we're going to get something, somebody who doesn't want a Diggable Planet CD sometime really soon. But for right now, a, a Diggable Planet cassette is going out to Jennifer R. Somewhere. Here she comes behind the Loopy Man, coming into the house. Y'all can come down here and be on Loopy Cam if you'd like to. You wanted the cassette? All right, there you go. Forces of willpower, please let me draw something that doesn't say Diggable Planets. Oh, yes. Ray L. Huh? Ray L wants a Sacred Reich CD? Is, are you Ray? Oh, okay. There you go, man. That's a nice hat you got there. That Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of thing. Do we have any more Sacred Reich? Yes, we have two more Sacred Reich this evening. So if you want to come get one of these, we have two more left. Let's see. Let's see. That's a wonderful pass you have on. What is that? Lazona Rosa? Oh, I traded in, but I just need to carry around my other Gotcha, okay. All right. I'll get 15 before the contract is over. That, yeah, you got to collect a bunch of them. Yeah, I know. i got to have a float in here. David M. For Diggable Planets. Here he comes. Booyah, coming at you. Uh, CD or cassette? Cassette? All right, there you go. This, uh, Loopy, check this guy's shirt out over here. He's got the right idea, man. Y'all check this shirt out and come down and, and display your own if you would. That's it. Just shoot it, man. Just shoot that shit. See, now he's standing in front of me. Loopy, I told you, just shoot that shit, man. Cool. Let's see. Uh, hey, Christopher L. I know that guy. I know that guy. I bet he's running down the hall right now. There he is. Left turn, left turn. All right. Taking the Valentine Saloon. I think that was our last one. So our Valentine Saloon CDs are gone. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a, a couple more names and uh, maybe I'll sit down and take a couple more calls. But then we're gonna play some videos. So uh, J H, all right, taking on the Flotsam and Jetsam. Good deal. You know they're coming to town April first. Raw Time's got a contest. If you'd like to uh, be the one who introduces Flotsam and Jetsam on stage, call four seven three three eight four eight and leave your name and number, and uh, you'll get all the info. I'll call you up and let you know how that how that goes. I think that was actually our last Flotsam and Jetsam CD of the evening. Um, just a few more and uh, we'll be through for the first break, but we'll be here till four, so stick around. Sean D. All right, looking for the collision tape, huh? All right, man. Those are some, some good hard rocking guys. I think we might have some collision CDs left and one cassette. So if y'all want to come pick up collision music, come on down. They got a cool song called Chain. You can check that out. I don't think anyone on Austin will play it, but call them up and bug them anyway. KLBJ and Z102. Let's see. Um, Mike G. Looking for a diggable planet, man. Oh. Um, what did you want? The CD? The, the, the tape? I wanted the CD. Well, they're, they're CDs. Oh. If you want. Yeah, there you go. All right, man. It's cool like that. Peace like that. Samantha M. Samantha M. Taking home a Diggable Planet cassette. There you go. Enjoy it. One left is on the table. Yes, sir. We have one Diggable Planet cassette left, and it's on the table. Um, one thing cool about the place they're playing, Liberty Lunch, is it's all ages. So uh, any of y'all who want to go check out the show, you can you can go down and see it. Um, Raw Time 
might be able to score some tickets for that. So y'all, you know, stay tuned. We'll give those away to you. Gina D taking the last Diggable Planets tape. All right. All right. Um, there you go. Right off the table. That's our last one, oh, ladies and God. gentlemen. They're gone. See ya. Out of here. Uh, let's see. I'll do two more and uh, go to some more video, and we'll be back after that to do a bunch more. Um, Mark A. I guess we have CDs left of Diggable Planets, if you would like it. Oh, man. Now, now we're down to the very last Diggable Planet CD. So uh, I guess that's the hot item tonight. I don't know. Man. Johnny L. There he is. The wonderful Johnny L. Here all the time. So he says diggable or sacred. So you can take our last diggable planet. Ladies and gentlemen, no more diggable planets. So all of you people that want a diggable planet have an alternate choice in your head now because if I draw you, you got to figure out something else that you want. So uh, let's see. What do we got here? Jesse E. He wanted the Valentine Saloon, which is gone too. So another choice. What do you think, man? All right, Sacred Reich. That's good stuff. Do we have any more Sacred Reich in here? Or was that our last Sacred Reich? One more. One more Sacred Reich. Oh, man. Well, we got some Sick of It All stickers and some Gumball stickers and some Kanak stickers and some KLBJ stickers and the King and I stickers and Gumball window peels. They're not sticky, but they stick to your window through methods of science I know none of. But, um... I guess what we'll do is uh, walk over here, take a couple more calls, and um, I think I'm going to do that from the control room. What do you think? Want to hang out in the control room with me for a second? I don't know if our mics will reach. You're welcome to come along. Yeah, sure. we got lots of cable here. And uh, as you can tell, we're doing live television, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we don't have a plan. We just do it. That's what it's all about. So uh, as long as we don't get tangled up, we'll both be in the control room very shortly. And uh, if you'd like to come down here and join us, call 473 3848 and uh, you'll get all the information on how to get in your car and jump down here and see us. Um, we should be here anytime, so go ahead and call 472 call if you'd like to be on the air with us, hanging out with the big, mean, nasty, Dale, dirty dog, G. What's up, man? <laughs> Pushing the button for us in here. Um, I guess I'll go over here and wander over here and say hello to you folks. Howdy. Hey. What's up? Yo, dear. What up? Yo, man, uh, who's the chick next to you? <laughs> this is Margaret Mosier from the Austin Chronicle. Well, it's been a long time since I've been called a chick. It's been a long oh. time since she's been called but a I chick, her, too. Thank you. So. What's a diggable planet? What's a diggable planet? Well, that's a place where you go to a planet and you like where you're at. Hello, you're on Raw Time. Hey. Hey. Play, will you play Pretty Little Daisies? Oh, I don't. I didn't bring Ween tonight. Have you heard Ween, Margaret? Oh, what else? That's the one. That's the what one. Else? What is the one? Call the info line and leave your request for that, and I'll be glad to bring That's it next Tuesday song. if you can tune in. Hey, you're about... fucking cool. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, stay tuned. We got a bunch of good videos coming up. We got like um, Sloan, Lenny Kravitz, Biohazard. See, Biohazard. We play, have some. Play some Willie D. Willie D, huh? We got some Willie. Ghetto Boys, man. Yeah, that's Crooked good. Officer. See ya, Bushwick. We'll be here at 4 in the morning, man. Bully. Stay tuned. All right, later. See ya, man. Smoke big joints. Okay, well, I guess that's a, a, a suggestion from our viewing audience tonight. Of course, you don't have to uh, do what they say. Um, Margaret, I've got a very special video for you. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this video for you. Um, from a band I think you like a lot. Now, we were talking about groupies earlier. Uh-huh. You ever heard of Spinal Tap? Dude, <laughs> you know about me and Nigel Tufnell, don't you? What's up with Nigel? Uh-huh. Well, I can't really say because, you know, as part of Nigel's in crowd, I'm really sort of sworn to secrecy, but, you know, <laughs> the dude really rocks. He's a rocker, <laughs> huh? Yeah, he does. Wonderful. Well, we got this little tune they do called Bitch School. I think we're going to lay it on you here, oh, so I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Thank you very much for coming to join us Thanks tonight. Thanks for having me. I look no forward problem. to seeing you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's going to be a big thing. All it the uh, wonderful people should be there. 755 so. Sharp, don't forget. Palmer Auditorium. Uh, we'll be here to four, so stay tuned. We'll take some more calls and give some more stuff away. Oh, but right now, great. we're going to look at Spinal Tap with Bitch School. If you all know what it's all about, just wander through the little green fields and tell us if it's good for you, too. And turn it up to 11. 12. See ya. 12. <laughs>